I've been thinking about this all day. An evening on the lake, in the kayak, photographing birds. I can just picture it. So I've got a 30 minute drive, 10 minutes to get the kayak in the water. I'll be in a state of bliss in less than an hour. What the? I've never seen the water this low. Damn, that smell. Oh God, I'm not launching here. Where the hell is all the water? I'm not dragging my kayak 200 yards. I mean, God. So there you go, that feeling of adventure slipping away. Well, there's always the public boat launch, but yeah, so much for that feeling of bliss. This is not exactly what I envisioned. I mean, people. I don't want to deal with people. But I've come this far, so I might as well check things out. Jet skis. Man, I don't want to deal with that. Okay, okay, new goal. How far away from people can I get? I'm seeing some potential here. Grebes. Western Grebes. So, I guess it's confession time. Early on when I first picked up this hobby, I spent a lot of time feeling very, I don't know, disappointed and dissatisfied. Perhaps you've heard me say it before, enough is never enough. I'd make all these grand plans and I'd have that perfect shot in my mind and really imagine how I was going to accomplish it. I'd build it up and just get let down. I can count on one hand how many times my plans actually came together. I don't know if it was my competitive nature or pride, but either way, I just feel empty and aggravated. Eventually, I had to accept the fact that this was a lifelong hobby. I had to make a conscious effort to just manage my expectations. I had to choose if I was gonna spend my days wishing things had gone better or decide to just simply appreciate the moments that I'd been given. Tonight, I really wanted to be on that kayak, paddling around the back of the lake and, you know, really just away from the crowd. And honestly, I mean, I came very close to just giving up, just heading back to the house. I was seriously, I mean, I was just disappointed. And I just gave up. Yeah, maybe I should have dragged my kayak through the mud. And, and it might have made for a good video. But I didn't. And now here I am. And honestly, this is nice. So note to self, Josh, take it easy, be flexible, breathe. This is a lifelong hobby. 
I'll have plenty of opportunities to sit on that kayak at the back of the lake, far away from people. <laughs>